Fáilte Rash, welcome back to our Beginner Irish Weekly Mini Lesson. And on Chachtan Shaw this week, we're going to look at what a father is in the Irish language or in Gaelic or Osgoelga, whichever you prefer. This is going to be a really, really useful one because the father, which is an accent on vowels in Irish, can be a little bit tricky. So we're going to look at the different pronunciations on vowels with a father and without a father so that you can really get this down. So it's a little pronunciation guide in the Irish language. Just firstly to mention that if you are a beginner in the Irish language and you would like to be confident in your basic everyday Irish and be confident in the Irish that you see and hear around you every day or if you have Irish ancestors and you would like to learn the language of your ancestors then our Gwilga for Complete Beginners is absolutely for you. It's starting really really soon but if you are watching this video at a later date that will be available down below in the description otherwise you can sign up to be on the waitlist so that you get first access. Achoraylin on we go. So we call it a fada in Irish and fada actually means long. So basically we're saying this is going to make our vowels long. The full name for it is actually sheen the fada but we call it fada for short. So this is just our accent in the Irish language that we put over vowels. So let's take a look at that. In Irish we have our vowels a, e, i, o and u without a father and these are called short so they have no accents and these are short vowels in the Irish language and then we have each of our vowels with a father with an accent a father e father i father o father and u father and these are our long vowels so we have our short vowels and we have our long vowels so we're going to look at the difference between words that have our short vowels and words that have our long vowels in Irish. And these are all of our most common little words in Irish. Most of them are prepositions or personal pronouns. The first one is egg in Irish. So our Irish here is in the pinky reddy color and our pronunciation is in the green. So egg means at in Irish, at. And it's pronounced like egg. It's a short A, so it does get an eh, eh, egg, egg sound egg so a little bit confusing that it's pronounced like egg in english but this is egg in irish which means at at so we may egg and shop i was at the shop le has a short e le and it's pronounced like the le in lemon le lemon and le means with in irish with in in irish has a short i and it means in as well it does mean in in a specific context in irish however it is pronounced exactly like in in english as well so it's a short i eh, eh. do means four or two in irish and because it's a short o it's just do do like the d in dot dot or d and then the u in um is short so it's just a uh, um um, like the U in cup, cu, cup, um, and um means about, and we usually use this when we're talking about holidays or seasons, so you can say um chosk about Easter time. Now looking at the same vowels but long vowels, so we have to here, to, so because the A has a father, it becomes long, so it gets an o sound, o, so to. Now, ta is part of our verb to be in Irish. It's the present tense of the verb to be. Ta. So, ta. And it's like the A in law. So, law is a good example here. Ta, law. She means him in Irish. Now, it has a long E and the long E gets an A sound. A because it's long. So, it becomes she. So, that's him or he. She. It can also mean it. It depends on the context and it's pronounced like the a in hey so she hey she hey and then she means her or it for feminine and this i father is long so it goes e so it becomes she she pronounced exactly like s h e in english she in english she and it sounds like the e in p <laughs> she p bo has a long o here bo means cow bo so this long O just goes O, O, Bo. And it's like the B in boat or the B-O in boat. Boat, Bo, cow in Irish. And then two means you in Irish too. And this you father's long, so it gets an oo sound. Two, two. And it's like the sound that we hear in shoe. Two, 
shu to and to means you so then looking at the difference again the a here is so short it's just e, egg and here it's long it's all tall le has a short e le and here it's long it gets a sound she e in in whereas our i in she is long so it's she e e and then d short o d you barely hear it it's more like a u sound and then we get an o sound so the difference between d and bo and then the u in um is a uh, short again a uh, and then in two it's long u two a uh, um two so we have egg to le she in she du bo and um and two so hopefully that just emphasizes the difference between the short and the long and the easiest way to remember them is just with these pronunciation guides showing you what is similar to in english and the most practical way to learn Irish and how we are going to teach it in our beginner Gaeilge is with practical everyday sentences so that you can understand how you pronounce the Irish language but also be able to use your Irish too in everyday contexts. Now just looking at how you can get the fada so if you are typing on your phone you will hold down on the vowel that you want to put a fada on and then you'll see all the accents in the different languages and our fada is this little line here that goes off to the right it goes up to the right so that's our fada it's right next to the accent that goes off to the left so our one goes off to the right and then depending on what type of computer you'll have it'll be different if you're on a desktop for example the windows computer i had before my current one was control plus the vowel and that would give you the fada and then on the MacBook that I'm currently on, I have to hold down the vowel and then it'll give me some options and I'll have to choose a number depending on the options and on the vowel. However, you can just type into Google how to add accent on vowel on and then you can put in whatever device that you have here. You don't have to put in fada because that might not come up in the search. Just ask it how to add the accent on a vowel because there are accents in lots and lots of different languages, not just Irish and usually they have the same function to get them. I hope that's clear. Guru Meelamaha, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed to our free Irish lessons that you get every week, then you can do so down below. That's subscribing to our newsletter. August Fekime Galuhu. See you soon. Slongafold. Bye for now.